Coming up next, 10 years of speed and roping, 10 years of bling, 10 years of spinning, sliding, and jumping, 10 years of friendship, 10 years of American Porter Horses, and 10 years of memories. 10 years of select competition. Up next, we celebrate the 10th Adequan Select AQHA World Championship Show, right here. In 2003, AQHA launched a new World Championship event exclusively for amateur exhibitors 50 and older, known as the Select World Championship Show. That inaugural year saw 307 entries for the entire show. Now, in its 10th year, the Select Show has expanded from just four days of competition to nine. The attendance has ballooned to 1,273 entries, vying for more than 43 coveted world champion titles and more than $500,000 in cash and awards. While the competition can get serious here in Amarillo, the atmosphere is anything but. This is my very favorite horse show. I've been showing all my life and I love it. And I love coming here to the Select World because you show with your peers. And I think that's what the fun part is. It's very relaxing here. This is my biggest win so far. It's pretty awesome. I like it because everybody here is so comfortable with who they are. Nobody's trying to outdo each other. You know, it's no pretentiousness. You know, look at me, what I have. It's just a very comfortable. People are so friendly. It's just so nice. And everybody supports each other. The unique atmosphere here at the Adequan Select World Championship Show is what makes this event so popular. Another attraction is the high level of competition. From Western to English, if an American quarter horse can do it, it's done here. Once qualified, competitors stay busy showing in many different events. And for some, showing in multiple events provides a goal in itself. Each year, one rider here will become the Farnham Select All-Around Amateur. To qualify, exhibitors must show one horse in a minimum of three events. Points are awarded based on final placings. 63 exhibitors have qualified this year for a chance at winning $10,000 and the Farnham Select All-Around Amateur title. I'm not going to be first, but do you think I'll be the top 15? In addition, there's another challenge for all-around amateurs. The defending champ and her horse are back to give it another try. Ann Wilson of Dallas, Texas on Visible Investment. Last year's experience was amazing and completely unexpected. Um, he had a problem with one of his front feet and we didn't even know we were coming last year until three days before the show. So when I got here, I was just so happy to be here that I really didn't have any expectations or nerves. Um, in contrast, this year he's been completely healthy and I've had all the time in the world to practice and all the time in the world to think that, oh my gosh, I can only go downhill because I won the all around last year. Um, but so far this year has been really good. I was blessed yesterday that I won the world championship for the third year in a row in the showmanship. So that took a lot of pressure off me. And um, you know, we're I'm, I'm still trying to continue riding and who knows about the all around this year, but I'm thrilled to, to have the championship and showmanship under my belt. He was a really good boy for me. If Ann is feeling the pressure of trying to repeat, it doesn't show. Showing in a total of five classes with her horse, Visible Investment, also known as Dudley, Anne gets off to a hot start, winning the World Championship in showmanship for an incredible third year in a row. Like many exhibitors here, Anne spent time away from horses while she raised a family and pursued her professional career. So I went 20 years without a horse. I, um, in Dallas, got involved um, volunteering at a therapeutic riding center and I took some of their volunteer riding lessons after five years and when I got on the back of a horse, I didn't want to get off. 
So I, I bought a horse and got involved in showing the AQHA breed shows 12 years ago. Um, and I haven't looked back, but I love it. It was very different. Um, the riding style was so different today from when I grew up in 4-H. I never even wore spurs in 4-H and um, you know, I rode with my, my toes pointed forward and you, it was just a completely different style. And in showmanship, we'd have our elbows out. And um, so I had to forget all of those old habits and develop new ones. Of course, the, what we're doing today is so much more complicated than what I did in 4-H. But it's a lot more challenging and a lot more fun. Up next, we'll be handing out world titles and celebrating exhibitors who haven't missed a select show. And then it's a rider from the land of ice and snow. Coming up. The 2012 Select World Championship Show is brought to you by Adequan, the official equine joint therapy of AQHA. Learn more at adequan.com. AQHA Medical, a benefit of AQHA membership is access to affordable health insurance plans. Visit aqha-medical.com for a free quote. Bank of America, the official financial services provider of AQHA, offers members bank accounts, lines of credit, and credit cards. Visit bankofamerica.com slash AQHA. And the American Quarter Horse Association. Discover your lifestyle at aqha.com. Your veterinarian is your best source for information when it comes to understanding your horse's joint health. When discussing joint treatment options with your veterinarian, make sure the products are FDA approved. Look for the package insert as confirmation you're using a safe, effective joint therapy. As you read through the insert, it will provide scientifically proven information as to what the product is intended for, as well as dosage and administration information. This is very important as you do not want to misuse a product intended for other uses such as wound care or surgical lavage to treat your horse's joints. All FDA approved products will have a package insert. When in doubt, ask to see it. Your horses deserve products shown to be safe and effective. Ask for FDA approved joint treatments like Adequan IM. Your ride depends on it. Do not use in horses intended for human consumption. Studies have not been conducted to establish safety in breeding horses. You always dreamed of living in a place like this, but sometimes the land can be challenging. That's where the expertise of a John Deere dealer comes in. Together, we'll find the best solution so you'll know you've spent wisely to get the most out of your property. Because we know you love your land. Every last bit of it. My 40 saved me 500 on this Ford truck. My 40 gives me a year of good reading. My 40 makes me a thrifty shopper. My 40 colors my world. Your $40 American Quarter Horse Association membership provides hundreds of dollars in benefits and services. To find out what your 40 can do, visit AQHA.com. I'm not in my grave, I will be coming back every year. <laughs> That's the truth. It'll be a while yet. Yeah, it'll be a while yet. I don't plan on going anywhere, but I will definitely be coming back next year. That's what it's all about. That's what keeps you young. You got to keep young and, and keep trucking. Welcome back to the 10th celebration of the Adequan Select World Championship Show. From families to careers, Exhibitors here have a wide breadth of experience both in and outside of the equine world. 
And Debbie Wallover of Moxville, North Carolina is a prime example. Besides raising horses on their farm, she and her husband manufacture oil dry hoppers, the vehicles at NASCAR races that clean up the track after a wreck. So if you watch a NASCAR race, then you see an accident before, this, before they go clean up. So we make those. Showing in a total of five classes, Debbie is riding Eli North, a 23-year-old homebred from her North Carolina farm. A member of the family, Debbie can do almost anything with Eli, except work with cows. He's afraid of them. He is a mischievous little child boy. That when he's good, he's really good. And when he's bad, he knows he's bad, he gets in trouble. He's got more personality than a horse should be allowed to have. He's just, just, just a trooper, you know? The kids love him, and, and you know, I have nieces and nephews that come there. Uh, he's great with them. We go trail riding through the woods. I've got a chariot we can hook up to and drive around the farm. Look like we're going to farmer's market to sell vegetables. Uh, he's just, he's just fun. You know, he talks to you all the time, and he's, he's just a character. Exhibitors here at the Ataquan Select World Championship Show are from near and far, but no one has come from nearly as far as Roger Snall. Attending his very first AQHA World Championship, Roger is from Sweden. Awesome. It was awesome. The, I will never have this undone. It's, it's amazing. And what the weather. Apparently, the temperature here in Amarillo is a little more pleasant than Sweden right now. And because Roger hails from across the ocean, he's allowed to lease a horse here in the U.S. Roger is showing I'm a Moxie Man, a bay gelding with previous world show experience. Uh, first, I, I was here in June and trained with the horse uh, for um, about seven days, maybe, and then uh, I took the same trip from, from Sweden to Amsterdam and to Dallas and uh, Robin Fritt, the trainer, is near Dallas. So um, uh, he picked me up and I trained for maybe four days before we take the trip here. I really love America. I love the people, they're kind, they're helpful, they're sweet and uh, especially I think these kind of people that that take this, okay, they take it seriously, but uh, maybe they have more fun. So um, I have only uh, good things. And I have a lot of experience now, and everybody calls me now, and they say, you must come to us when you come home and, and show you what you have learned and everything. So it's fun, it's really fun. With approximately 3,000 American quarter horses in the entire country of Sweden, Roger's in heaven here in Amarillo. Showing in these large classes is also giving him a good barometer of where he stands as a horseman. In Sweden, we have about a uh, little more than 3,000 quarter horses, uh, and uh, they compete in every classes. Uh, I started with uh, reining myself, but I get a little bit more and more into the all-around riding, uh, but I still like reining a lot. I, I want some goal, and, and um, there are maybe five, six shows in Sweden, but you never have so much in every classes. So we, always, we, we used to go to Germany and uh, to the shows in Germany, because they're much bigger, they are higher level, so you know where you stand. Roger's first class at an AQHA World Championship show is a resounding success. He finishes eighth in showmanship. Back home in Sweden, his wife and neighbors all watched the webcast together and then celebrated with a bottle of champagne, toasting his select show accomplishment. It's amazing, it's really amazing. That's I think I, I learned so much before I get in. Uh, in the first class I was, went in, we were 57. And uh, at home, maybe we are 9 or 10, maybe 20 if you're lucky. Uh, but I feel when I get in 
in the, the first class here that uh, I was really prepared for this because I have so good trainers who, who really uh, learn me how to do the patterns so they be correct. So I will never forget the pattern when I get in. That I can do in Sweden, but now it was, and that well, I think I was not nervous. And I wasn't nervous in the final help uh, also, so it's, it's really nice. Coming up next, a 10-year exhibitor and his horse are calling it quits. And then the oldest select exhibitor teaches these young baby boomers how to show. Stay tuned. Every time a local business opens its doors, or creates another laptop bag, or hires another employee, it's not just good for business. It's good for the entire community. At Bank of America, we know the impact that local businesses have on communities. That's why we extended $6.4 billion in new credit to small businesses across the country last year. Because the more we help them, the more we help make opportunity possible. Just graduated from college, moved to Houston. My favorite thing about horses are just how sweet they are. So gentle and, and good-natured and your buddy. It's more than a pet. It's really a family member. When you have one or just get to ride one, it's like a best friend. Horses define me. A lot of my characteristics that I have today, I can attribute to the fact that I grew up riding horses. My teamwork skills, my confidence, my ethics, it all came from growing up showing and riding. I'm Jackie Rapp and I'm a member. We know who made that hitch. We know who cut the steel, who milled the ball, and who welded the seams. We know who tested, measured, and checked. We even know who thought the whole thing up. We're B&W, and we know your hitch. Because we don't make them halfway around the world. We make them all right here. B&W. Trusted. Welcome back to Amarillo, Texas. Just off the interstate west of town, buried in a field, lay Stanley Marsh's iconic Cadillacs. But a little closer to the arena sits the headquarters of the American Quarter Horse Association, the world's largest equine breed registry and membership association. Of the 307 entries who attended the inaugural Adequan Select World Championship Show in 2003, just 22 have returned every single year. When it started, um, I didn't think it would really go over. And we came out here and it was just so much fun. And I began to meet people that I would not have met because they're from such different parts of the country and even from Canada and stuff. And it's just fun to renew those friendships and make new ones and hopefully you meet up with them, you know, somewhere down the road. Ann Simmons of Pell City, Alabama has shown at every select world championship and she hasn't come alone. Her companion all 10 years has been her American quarter horse. My legs are detailed. This is the one. This is the one. Brought him out here as a three year old and we won the Hunter Under Saddle that year. And um, then in 2005 we won the Eck. So I keep waiting on a repeat, but uh, I'll keep coming until we get one. Uh, when the Select started the whole deal, that's when I got really interested in getting back into it more. I had shown some, but then I kind of let go, had kids, drank it. But with the Select, that's when I felt competitive again. Susan Pinnow has been here for all 10, but came to support a friend and didn't show one of those years. Showing her horse caught a good look in five classes. The all-around amateur title is in her sights. I'm the gelding halter class. 
We were finalists in that, which is pretty good because he's a smaller horse. He showed well. And we just finished the showmanship this morning and ended up fifth in the top ten for that. So I was very excited. And now we're going to get ready and do western riding today, trail tomorrow, and horsemanship tomorrow. A fixture at all ten select shows. Paul Gagne has an extra challenge on this 10th anniversary. His fiance just turned 50 and qualified. This year's the first year that I've showed against my fiance, and that's kind of a lose-lose, because if you win, you lose, and uh, if you lose, you lose. So uh, I hope to be competing with her for another 10 years. I like to see the people from the other part of the country that I don't normally get to see. Lots of good friends, and, and the atmosphere at this horse show is just wonderful. At this at this stage in our lives, we're just it, you just you're thankful for everything that you do, and uh, you get a little bump in the road, and it just makes you more grateful. You know. I came here. You came here into a family. Everybody was together, friends. You, I felt so much better. So if anybody got a chance to come and do this, do this. The select show will always have a special place in Don Lehman's heart. Several years ago, he loaded in at the stalls here and left. When he returned, he was met with unfortunate news. His dog had wandered off the grounds and been killed by a car. Well, one year I had a corgi that got run over in the street on a Saturday. I came back here on a Sunday, you know, kind of had to bring my horse. Everybody knew about it. I didn't want another dog. My daughter and Judy and about 30 people found this puppy and presented it to me when I came out of my class. Of course, I didn't do very well in the class, but I got this puppy and she's been with me ever since. And she's four years old now and she goes everywhere. So and that was one of the best experiences I ever had. Don has shared these 10 years here with his good friend, 20 year old, glowing past the bar, who will be retired after this horse show. This horse is like another person, another family person to me. Um, she's different from everybody else, other horses. I don't have to ride her hours and hours. I come into the barn, I go, she nickers and whipples and cry, I come up to her. When I go into the, into the showmanship class, and if I don't come up and give her a kiss and nuzzle before I go, she's bugging me, she won't leave me alone. As soon as I do that, She's fine in and, and everything, everything I do. He's just a friend, you know, it just, and a one, of, one in a million horses that I never find another one like her. I, I, I just think she knows that she's part of the family. She knows her job. It's most of the time it's my fault. Like the other day in, in showmanship, I had a very good go. I forgot to set her up, not her fault. She did what I told her. So. I don't, I don't know, I just, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Or I have, it hasn't, it hasn't hit me yet till I get home that this is it. This is all she wrote. Up next, there are 97 years of experience between these two partners. More from the Adequan Select World Championship Show when we return.
Winning an AQHA World Championship is a great achievement. So why not show it off? <laughs> and it's big and it's going on my living on my kitchen table and it's not leaving there ever. <laughs> Showing in the reigning class at his very first select show is Robert Denton of California. It's pretty exciting. He turned really nice. Um, I thought maybe on the right turn I was going to have a little trouble with him because he was kind of wiggling in the back, but we got him settled, got him turned good. Once I got him through the turns, I know he's going to circle really good, and I know he's going to stop because that's his best maneuver. So we got him in those right circles, he did his thing, we got him, uh, got him changed, and then got him down and stopped him good like he can do, and um, I knew we had a good run at that point. I thought 217 was the best score I've ever marked, so win or lose, I knew I had won something. Sure enough, Robert's score of 217 held up. He and Dunnett's legacy are AQHA world champions in reigning at their very first select show. I love it. I'm going to come back every year. <laughs> Get treated like this. <laughs> the select show reminds everyone that your show days are never over. And if you think they are, Suzanne Jones is here to prove you wrong. I qualified this year in two events, Western riding and English equitation, but I dropped the Western riding because it was three days before the other horse, and that was, we had work to do at home. <laughs> there is, of course, an age minimum of 50 years old at the Adequan Select World Championship show, but there's no maximum. Suzanne Jones of New Mexico has the distinction of being the oldest competitor here. Without giving away her age, we'll only say that the combined age of Suzanne and her 10-year-old homebred horse, Freckles on my mind, is 97 years old. You can do the math. I knew I would either marry, marry um, into the military or into the ranch. The rest of the world did not exist. So I did marry a rancher who, interesting enough, was in the Court of Racing, very strong in that. But also being on a ranch, we had, uh, we bred and had animals that we used, uh, that we were using on the, on the ranch, we used those in the show ring to further their knowledge and so forth. Born into the horse world, Suzanne's father was in the horse cavalry, and she's been showing since age three. She was the second woman inducted into the United States equestrian team. They didn't go on to the, the Olympics because Mexico was at war, so no United States citizens or athletes were allowed to go. A member of the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame and National Cowgirl Hall of Fame, Suzanne can regale anyone with stories about the U.S. Cavalry or having a barrel racing wreck right here on these fairgrounds in the late 1940s. Suzanne Jones was crowned 2012's Neutrina Senior Athlete. And with age comes wisdom as Suzanne continues to discover new ways these American quarter horses keep her young and active. Riding an English saddle is excellent for you at the trot because you are doing, uh, I guess, knee bends, which you would be doing on the ground. So why not ride and do it? And also, the, the key to all of this riding with age added to it is to do it every day and everything uh, physically and mentally will turn out to be plus. And the silver lining this year is that Suzanne Jones's admittedly bad hunt seat equitation run is actually good news for everyone. But by doing so badly today means I will be back here next year. <laughs> Coming up next, it's 33 consecutive world championship shows for this roping veterinarian. World championship runs in heading and healing. Don't go away. They're the reason you can't wait to wake up each day and who you're glad to stay up late for. They're who you rush home to from work each day and how we teach our kids about working hard. They're who you plan your weekends around. They're family.
That's why you can count on Neutrina from one generation to the next. From our family to yours with love and nutrition. Neutrina. My 40 helps me with my chores. My 40 keeps my family healthy. My 40 saves me money when I bundle. My 40 rewards me for time well spent. Your $40 American Quarter Horse Association membership provides hundreds of dollars in benefits and services. To find out what your 40 can do, visit AQHA.com. The American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame and Museum welcomes visitors and honors both people and horses. The museum includes state-of-the-art technology, hands-on exhibits combining historically significant artifacts and breathtaking art, including the large bronze statues both inside and out. Not to be missed, the museum is open year-round and free to AQHA members. Heading, healing, tie-down, breakaway. There's plenty of roping at the Ataquan Select Show. Dr. Lon Lemon, a veterinarian from Gretna, Nebraska, was busy in the healing finals. Of the 15 horses qualified for the finals, three of them were his. Since the odds appeared to be in his favor, his goal was simple, just catch. Catching is, whether it's heading or healing, catching is, is somewhat of a mental game. Once you've done it a long time, like I have, well then, Yes, it's a matter of concentration, focusing on a certain part that you want, place where you want to put your rope, uh, trying to make all the things work. Dr. Lemon won first place and the Healing World Championship aboard his horse, You Rope Like a Girl, the sixth world championship for this lifetime horseman. Raised on a farm in Kansas, and uh, we always had horses. My dad had work horses, and uh, we always had riding horses. So. Years ago, when I had when I was in vet school, then I um, acquired a, a registered quarter horse, and it kind of started from there. And then I brought one uh, when I after I graduated from vet school, I brought one to uh, Nebraska where I live, and uh, had a trainer uh, start her. And he and he asked me, what, "What do you want to do with her?" And I said, well, "Gee, I don't know." And he said, "Well, you ever thought about roping?" And I said, "Well, yeah, that sounds really good." So here we are, uh, about 33 years later. Lon's six world championships are impressive, but perhaps even more so is the fact that this makes an amazing 33rd consecutive AQHA world championship that Lon has shown at. The really neat thing about coming here that we really like about the Select World Show is we know most of the, the ropers that we compete against. Uh, very friendly atmosphere. Um, you know, I've, I've gone to 33 consecutive world shows and 
uh, 31 years in a row. A couple years I went to both the Select World Show and the Amateur World Show, but I'm going to 33 in a row. Since we started coming here nine years ago, we pretty much prefer to come here because the friendships that we have, the people we don't get to see, but maybe uh, once a year uh, when we go to the World Show and uh, we get to go to dinner with them, we get to spend time with them. Uh, uh, you know, some of these people I've known for 30 years, competed against for 30 years, so it's really, really a much to us, a much friendlier atmosphere. Chris Jensen of Lance Creek, Wyoming, has had a busy day of roping too. I come down with eight qualifications, made it back to the finals in six of them, and uh, had a good day starting up with third and uh, third in the world in the calf roping, second and third in the breakaway, and then uh, win it on my stud play Zorro. That's his second time. But the heading class is where Chris really shines. For the second time, he and his stallion, Clay Zorro, are AQHA Select World Champions. Chris has an oil field construction business in Wyoming and met his wife at a roping. His world championships could all be traced to a rewarding vacation he and his wife took a few years ago. I've only been showing uh, five years. Actually, uh, how it got started is we took a vacation and come down to here uh, five years ago, or maybe six. But anyway, I had just turned 50, and she keeps talking to me, trying to give me the show. So we come down and watch the Select World, and I thought, you know, I think I can do that. So I started showing and paid my dues for a year or two, and then got the right horse, and been going great since then. Winning the Heading World Championship for a second time on his own stallion means a lot to Chris. Quite a bit. It uh, just proves that the first time wasn't a fluke and just shows people that he's a really nice, talented horse. Uh, I'm not quite done with all of my goals yet. i uh, been fortunate enough to win the Heading once before, the breakaway last year. My goal before I retire is to hopefully win the world in the other two roping events, and uh, that will make me happy. When we return, a mother and daughter show together for the first time, and the schedule stays full for these all-around amateur riders. Stay tuned. Smart Pack is a, a great product, and uh, the first time I saw it, I knew right away we, we were going to use it. But what makes Smart Pack nice is each uh, tray is customized to each individual horse. So one horse might need, you know, uh, three three supplements. One might need ten. <laughs> I tell people all the time. I mean, you, it's so it's it's a no-brainer when you look at Smart Packs. I mean, you just I just show them the containers with the compartments, and I show them how it has the name of the horse on there and and each supplement, and that's all you have to do. When people see it, they realize how it, it, how smart it is to use Smart Packs. Wild. Go super wild. Fly protection goes high fashion with the Super Mask 2 horse fly mask with Shimmer Weave Mesh. Shimmer Weave Mesh reflects your horse's natural color. Choose from four fabulous fashion forward styles. Go wild with the Super Mask 2 horse fly mask with Shimmer Weave Mesh color collection. It took us a while, but we finally got a place of our own. Can't call it a ranch, but it's large enough for the horses I always wanted. There's so much to do around here, and so much more I need to learn. That's why I became a subscriber to the American Quarter Horse Journal. I know that each month I get the information I need to grow as a horse owner, and it's been the voice of the American Quarter Horse industry for 60 years. Take advantage of our special offer. That's 24 issues for just $25. Call 800-291-7323. Welcome back to the 10th Adequan Select World Championship Show. 
Ann Pease and Rebecca Shelton are both showing here at the Select Show for the very first time, but it's not the first horse show they've attended together. They are mother and daughter. I've had horses for probably 40 years, uh, showed off and on. Um, mostly my daughter has shown for the last 15 years. And I'm a horse show mother. Rebecca just turned 50 and qualified to show. Anne, on the other hand, is referred to as a super select exhibitor, meaning she is at least 70 years old. It was my bucket list, and so that's why I'm here. Show a horse. I've been here several times cheering on my fiance. He's, he's one of the ones that have shown for all 10 years. So I've, I've been here as, a, as an observer. This is the first year for to be a participant. And it's been good. I haven't done as well as I had hoped, but I still have three more classes, so keeping my fingers crossed. I hope to be here many, many, many more years. Laurel Champlin qualified for the all-around amateur this year, but for the first time, she's decided to get Western. This is my first year. I've always done, like I said, the English events. And um, we bought this horse a few years ago. He got injured and was out a year, and we just brought him back in March. So it was a quick ticket qualified. I had to really hurry. And all new events for me. We bought him actually for my daughter, so I kind of stole it <laughs> for the select world. And no, it's a new, new events for me. So I made the finals in showmanship. I was very happy. I made the finals in Western riding. It's thrilling and I'm not gonna make finals in drill, <laughs> oh, but that's okay. Like everyone else here, Laurel enjoys the select show mix of horses, competition, and social time with good friends. I mean, the first year I came, it was a little shocking to me because I drove in and I said, no, I'm not 50, please. And everybody was gray hair and older. So I got a little, you know, I was like, oh no. And then I started showing with everyone. And it's so, they're so supportive. There's not the stress of some of the other shows. So I've been fortunate enough to have horses win the open world. And um, I was fortunate enough to win. I've won two world titles here. So in the past year, so, you know, it just leads to craving to come back and do it more. I love doing the all around. I love all the events because uh, I'm kind of an impatient person, so I don't like waiting. So the busier I am, the happier I am. So yeah, that's why I love the all round. It's my favorite. I don't even know which event is my favorite. I like them all, so. Kim Allen of Ontario, Canada is showing her horse Zip's Fancy Talk in a total of five classes. My trail run was um, a good trail run for my horse. That's about our scores that, that would, I would like. I've scored higher, but that's kind of our, a good average for us. So I was really pleased with that. And he's been good in all his classes. I, you know, the other two events we've been to the finals in, so that was good. So we'll have to wait and see how it all works out. <laughs> Kim's illustrious horse show career includes an AQHA Amateur World Championship back in 1979. I've been riding horses ever since I was a kid. They're like a passion. They're my life, so it's what I do. I don't know what we do without them, actually. So. Across the barn, Laurel and friends are all trained by Charlie Cole, who some of them have known since he was literally a kid. So they all took it upon themselves to adopt their own affectionate nickname. Years ago, they had about four girls and they all had long blonde hair, beautiful bodies and gorgeous girls and they called them Charlie's Angels under Charlie Cole and they all did really well at the youth world. They went through the youth program. Well, so we've decided that all, there's like four or five of us in the barn that have blonde hair that you know, a little gray underneath, but we, we, it's, it's blonde. So we, he, he's turned us, since he kind of doesn't have the youth, he just started having them again, so we, we consider ourselves Charlie's Angels, so. <laughs> little geriatric angels, but. <laughs> it's time to find an all-around amateur. When we return, we'll tally up the points and hand out the hardware. The coveted all-around amateur title is awarded right here at the Adequan Select World Championship Show.
The 2012 Select World Championship Show has been brought to you by Adequan, the official equine joint therapy of AQHA. Learn more at adequan.com. Smart Partners, AQHA's corporate partners offer members special discounts and services. Visit aqha.com to learn how you can save. Liberty Mutual, as an AQHA member, you could save hundreds of dollars a year on car and home insurance with Liberty Mutual. Visit aqha.com for your free quote. And the American Quarter Horse Journal, everything you want and need it to be. Tack så hemskt mycket Amerika och AQHA Porter Horse som, har, eh, som jag har fått vara här och göra den här stora World Show eh, grejen som jag tycker är skitskoj. From ranch sorting to pleasure driving, 46 World Championship trophies have been handed out at this year's Adequan Select World Championship show, but there's still one large trophy remaining, the 2012 All-Around Amateur. I told everyone I, I had this fear of failure that that the you know, winning the all-around amateur at the Select World Show last year was my ultimate goal um, as an all-around competitor. And once I achieved that, I felt like I could only go downhill. So it was a little sad and frustrating that you were like, oh. And and we actually offered my horse up for sale, uh, but I wasn't going to give him away. We put a you know a, a pretty big price tag on him. And uh, I'm I'm so, but I did that because I had this fear of failure of. How can I ever do as well as I did last year? Um, as things have turned out, we've had a fantastic year. My my horse has just become a better partner every time I go out, and I'm so happy to still have him. And it, it was great. And began her defense of the all-around title strong, racing sixth in her performance halter class with Dudley. Then, after winning the showmanship class and went on to place fourth in Western Horsemanship and finished third in Hunt Seat Equitation. Those two classes, I love both of them, and um, they, they, were, they were great. I mean, I, at, at the point that um, I had done well in the Gelding Halter and the Showmanship, and I knew that I would have to do well in both of those if I was ever gonna repeat what happened last year with winning the all-around. So um, I, I, I was focused and I tried to not overshow because I think that's my my biggest one of my biggest faults is I'll go out and and overshow and adrenaline will get to me and sometimes I over ask my horse for a maneuver so I tried to to be normal and just ride like I'm riding at home and um, once again my my horse was just great he was right there for me. Ann's horse is a 2000 Bay Gelding by investment asset and Visibly Royal by Sonny Gull Royal. His registered name is Visible Investment, but he's known to everyone as Dudley. He is a, a big puppy dog. I, um, I've got my little Cavalier King Charles Spaniel dogs with me, and their personalities are amazingly similar. The, you know, on the ground, he just wants to be pet like a dog, and he loves to be groomed, and he, he's, he's got the sweetest eye. You just look at him and you want to smile. Anne spent her professional career as an accountant. Attention to detail and being good with numbers are two qualities she credits with helping her stay focused on her goal of becoming an all-around amateur champion. The final placings in the Farnham Select All-Around Amateur Competition look like this. Anne Wilson and Visible Investment took top honors. Reserve champion is Lark's Happy Days and Larry Buchholz of Waterloo, Nebraska. And third place goes to Believe He's Blazing and Christine Hokut sydney of Burbank, California. 2012 has been a tremendous year for Ann and Dudley. They've been the top amateurs at every show they've attended. 
still, repeating here in Amarillo is definitely the highlight for Ann and Dudley. It's the top. I mean, I've, I've, I've never achieved anything more than this. So um, now I'm going to be scared again of just going downhill. <laughs> the good news for Ann, and perhaps bad news for everyone else, is Ann's plan for next year. Oh, I'll be back. I, I sure, certainly hope so. God willing, I'll be back and, and, and try again. I mean, it's fun. It's what I love to do. So um, even if I don't you know, ever win this award again, I still want to keep showing for sure. <laughs> Thanks for watching the 10th celebration of AQHA's World Championship Show. For more stories from this event, information on how you can become involved in the American Quarter Horse Association, please visit AQHA.com. Your veterinarian is your best source for information when it comes to understanding your horse's joint health. When discussing joint treatment options with your veterinarian, make sure the products are FDA approved. Look for the package insert as confirmation you're using a safe, effective joint therapy. As you read through the insert, it will provide scientifically proven information as to what the product is intended for, as well as dosage and administration information. This is very important as you do not want to misuse a product intended for other uses, such as wound care or surgical lavage, to treat your horse's joints. All FDA approved products will have a package insert. When in doubt, ask to see it. Your horses deserve products shown to be safe and effective. Ask for FDA approved joint treatments like Adequan IM. Your ride depends on it. Do not use in horses intended for human consumption. Studies have not been conducted to establish safety in breeding horses.